Damn. Damn. Um, what the fuck? Today, I'll show you the 10 goriest anime from the year 2000 to 2019, and we'll look at a lot of fun clips. All those heads are coming off. I'll also give you a short review with each of these anime to let you know if they're actually worth seeing or not. Ah, oh, I'm so fucking hard right now. But before we start, there's 20 years worth of anime here. These are honorable mentions that didn't make it on my top 10. I didn't think they were as gory, but they're still worth checking out. And there's four honorable mentions I need to show you now, since I find them very interesting, and there's some scenes I think you'll enjoy. Sit back and have fun. Here's four bonus gory anime before our top ten. I highly recommend pissing yourself, followed by a course of praying to your impotent god. Now, first of all, I definitely recommend everyone check out the entire Berserk series, since it's one of the best anime and manga out there, especially if you love medieval fantasy and sword fighting action, as I do. Berserk the Golden Age is divided into three movies and is a reboot of the original 1997 TV series, which we featured on the other Gory Countdown. You might recognize this scene which has been remade. These movies take place before the 2016 series and are a great way to start Berserk because it will get you caught up on the story and also has a lot of awesome sword fights. Hey, wait a minute, did he just stab a guy in the dick? Holy shit, he did! As you've seen, the Golden Age definitely has some violent scenes, but it's just not as intense as some other anime you'll see on my top 10. However, the story is one of the best, and these movies can't be missed. It involves two mercenaries, Guts and Griffith, one of whom is destined to become king at all costs. These two go through a lot of development over many battles, confronting not only their destinies, but also the results of their actions. The huge supporting cast around them develops too, and I find every character in the series likable and memorable. We have a lot of great people! The climax of these movies blows away every viewer the first time they see it. I can't tell any more about it without spoiling, but it's very unpredictable and I've seen every kind of anime fan enjoy Berserk. Plus, the animation is amazing. Just look at this scene. You're safe now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shh, easy. Even if you've seen the original series already, this reboot is so well done, it's worth seeing it anyway, so I highly recommend these films. There's a lot of scenes you'll enjoy. Could you repeat that? I didn't understand you. And if you want even more Berserk gore, you should check out the manga which is out of control at times, including a scene where a giant gets his dick cut off. What the hell? What is with this fucking series and stabbing people in the dick? This, Bobby, is the belt line. You never, ever hit below that. That's my purse! I don't know you! 
Now, while Berserk is a masterpiece, Ichi the Killer is not. This is an extremely fucked up anime none of you have probably seen. It's a single episode, 40 minutes, about a teen who was pushed to the edge by his parents and bullies, and he goes on brutal killing sprees that eventually make him the skilled assassin, Ichi the Killer. There's a lot of classic hand-drawn gore here, but the craziest scene is near the end, when some bullies try to fight him in the park, and he murders them all right there. Uh, Get away from me! I can't even show you what happens next, but he pulls out his dick and he starts jacking off, yes, masturbating, over their dead bodies, screaming, I'm not crying! And this is not a hentai, it was meant to be a regular anime. Now, while all this is happening, some anime girl is watching him and she's getting turned on by all this. She's an interesting character who would piss off a lot of feminists since she's an extreme masochist and follows him around, asking him to beat her up too. Because being beat up makes her orgasm. What the fuck? They want guys that beat them, they're mean to them, call them bitches and hoes. I don't understand it, man. Get you a big guy and treat you right. If you find this really rare anime, you'll see one of the weirdest out there. And it's hilarious if you like laughing at bad anime and shitty dubs. Senpai, jeez, man, are you okay? Why are you guys standing upside down? It is mostly boring, but of course it has crazy moments, and that's what I love to find. Crazy, weird anime. God, I love that sick bastard. My third honorable mention is Another. I've seen people put this series at the top of their goriest anime lists. Really? This one? It isn't anywhere near as gory as 20 others I can think of, but it does have a couple of cool scenes like this. That might seem violent for a classroom, but just try going to school here in America. The sign says, own the school year like a hero. And as you can see, it's right above a glass case filled with hunting rifles. What the fuck? Another is a horror mystery anime about a transfer student who meets a girl with an eye patch that nobody seems to be able to see. Is she a ghost? Hi. What's wrong? You okay? And there's a curse on this classroom that's killing the students and teachers. The protagonists try to solve the mystery and lift the curse. I won't tell any more because it's very unpredictable, which is what I like in stories and I will recommend. The anime starts slow, but it gets really good in the middle and ends like a great horror movie. We're scared! It turned on! And for our last honorable mention, here's another gory anime that I also highly recommend you check out. This is a brutal samurai anime with some of the most stylish action I've ever seen. I suppose it was merely a rumor. Or have your skills grown weak with advancing age? The story takes place in feudal Japan and is about the intense drama at a dojo founded by a swordsman with six fingers who's created one of the strongest fighting styles in history. The dojo brutalizes anyone who even slightly disrespects them. Don't you get it? He is saying that the Kogan style is as dull as an imitation sword. 
<laughs> you say that we are dull? No, not me. I never said that. Expect some unique fights. It's not like the fights you see in shonen anime like Naruto and One Piece, which I do like a lot, but these fights are more calculated and realistic where every move matters and every second is tense. He's too far. It is the quickest slashing attack that is capable of slaying the opponent instantly. This technique is a secret passed on only to those who are Nakamokuroku and above in the Kogan style. The story is a little slow paced at times, but it has a lot of unpredictable, brutal twists, so it is worth seeing. And yes, before anyone brings it up in the fucking YouTube comments, because I know one of you sick fucks will, yes, there is a scene where a guy sucks his own dick. <laughs> but other than that one scene, I can guarantee this anime is great. And hey, I don't judge. Maybe some of you want to see the guy suck himself off. You're about to get very, very wet. Starting off our top 10, I have yet another good anime you need to see. It's the 2018 Baki anime, which is loaded with brutal kung fu action. In the story, Baki has just won an underground fighting tournament and now five super strong inmates escape death row just to fight him so they can taste defeat for the first time in their lives. The scenes in the first episode where they break out of prison are some of the most badass moments in any anime and make it one of my favorite episodes of all time. This episode also has plenty of one of my favorite cliches. Everyone standing around in awe. Anime cliche number 42. And there's a lot of badass villain quotes. You never make it. You're 200 meters under the ocean. But it's impossible to swim to the surface. It'd take five minutes. Let him try. He'll be dead in 30 seconds. There's so many things about me that you guards don't know. I wish we had spent more time together. For example, that you didn't know that I've been exercising without breathing for five minutes at a time. As the series progresses, more fighters show up and all bring their own unique fighting style. You'll see a lot of broken bones and heads being bashed in, but the series is a little slow at times, with the cliffhanger ending. However, overall, Baki is satisfying with some really cool fights and insane moments. What's the most poisonous gas? The answer is this. <laughs> My apologies. In my desire to taste defeat, I am heading for the capital. Humbly, Ryoku Yanagi. At number 9, it's the new Berserk TV seasons, released in 2016 and 2017. These two seasons are a follow-up to the story of the 1997 anime and the Golden Age movies which we talked about earlier, bringing new characters, more magic and sword fighting, and it also brings the gore to a whole new level. If 
I'm not mistaken, Lady Farnese, this is the first time you've set foot in this room. However, when watching this, you'll quickly notice it's CGI animation, and some of it is pretty bad, and the frame rate is too low. This animation was very controversial when Berserk came out, and it turned a lot of fans off to the series. But despite all that, personally, I got used to it since I can look past bad CGI animation, and you can too. There's just too many good scenes to pass up here that aren't ruined by the CGI, so you'd be missing out if you skipped this series. And you know, a lot of us grew up with bad graphics anyways. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, whoa. When you look past the bad CGI, you'll find a real gem here. This was some of the most fun I've ever had seeing an anime and is one of my favorite new series in years. Both the dub and sub are excellent. The story is exciting, it's action packed. We have an emergency, ma'am! The Black Swordsman! You! Uh! You got knocked the fuck out! Poor guy. It's fast paced, follows the manga well. There's great emotional scenes, and of course, it has that classic berserk weirdness. You're an egg. Yes. My wish was to hatch the perfect world. Best of all, this series finally gives us new anime story with Guts and his giant sword, albeit about 18 years after the original. Hey, what's with all these Japanese characters and giant swords? Are they trying to overcompensate for something? Anyways, please give this anime a chance and try to have a good time as I did. You can at least enjoy seeing Guts' huge sword swinging around. Wow, it's huge. You weren't lying. At number 8, it's When They Cry, also known as Higarashi. This doesn't have buckets of blood like Berserk did, but I rank Higarashi highly because the violence is very disturbing, including many torture scenes. And then there's this creepy scene where the lolly kills herself. <laughs> In one of the most famous scenes, a girl has to rip her own nails off in front of her family. I hope you forgive me now. I don't know if you realize how painful this is. It's unbearable. So then, are you giving up? Damn, even after doing that, her sister still doesn't care. Uh, is losing loyal. Now, while the violence is disturbing, so is the story, which is near perfect. It's a psychological mystery anime with some of the best writing ever. I won't tell you much, but this isolated town in Japan has a dark secret where citizens end up dead by a curse, or they suddenly act like serial killer stalkers. You'll eventually find out what's behind this, and the characters develop really well over the series. There's emotional moments, huge surprise twists, and slice-of-life moments which contrast the dark parts and make you care more about the characters when they end up in danger later. The story wraps up satisfyingly in the sequel Higurashi Kai. You need to check this one out. One of my fondest memories was binging this entire series over one single summer weekend. The presentation also has a beautiful combination of lighting, music, and background sounds, which really sets the atmosphere. This is a very high quality anime. 
Even if it seems confusing at times, you can trust me that everything will be explained, make sense, and be wrapped up in the end. There's always some crazy periodic gore too. The only negative thing about Higurashi is the English dub, which ruins the atmosphere at some points. I was able to rewatch it and enjoy it dubbed as I normally like English dubs, but I admit the Higurashi dub will probably turn off a lot of viewers since it can be very awkward at times. Why are you being like this? Like this? Really, nigga? Now, if you're looking for some horrific vampire gore, then check out Shiki. We need to get a move on before sunset. Toshio, these were the guys who did it, right? They killed my son. You're sure about this? I'm sure. Like Higurashi, it's also about a small town isolated from the rest of Japan. The village is very boring and quiet until a strange new family moves in. And then an unknown disease strikes the town and the dead resurrect as vampires. Now, the vampires are actually trying to take over the village in secret while the villagers have a hard time accepting what's going on. I can't tell you much more without spoiling, but Shiki combines horror, mystery, survival, and drama all together perfectly. You learn about many different villagers' stories and see how they're all affected by the invasion. In their own ways, they each eventually come to terms with the reality that vampires are taking over the town, or that they themselves have become a vampire. There's no vampire anime like this, it's the most unique take on the genre I've ever seen. It might feel slow at times, but it develops the story for each individual character and is very satisfying at many points. Best of all, there's a lot of tragedies in the end that really hit me hard and it still haunts me. The finale definitely made it worth seeing. It's sad, but sad anime is good anime. And what about the anime gore? Well, in the climax, everything goes to hell when the villagers turn on each other, and there's an explosion of good old vampire violence. If you're a vampire or horror fan, definitely try Shiki, if you think you can handle all that gore and tragedy. Our number six goriest anime is Terra for Mars. It's a science fiction anime that starts off promising, super violent, and action packed. In the future, we sent roaches to Mars to terraform the planet but they somehow evolved into super strong humanoids that kill every human in sight. A force of Earthlings has been sent to Mars to take control of the planet and they each have a unique animal ability. But don't worry, there's no furries here. It's more of a cat girl thing, so it's not bad. And when someone uses their animal ability, there's a really cool scientific explanation so you learn something about nature. Preying mostly on cockroaches, the huntsman spider has thrived and spread across the globe. Fine hairs on its body can detect subtle movements, allowing it to precisely locate its prey. 
Terra for Mars started off really promising and action-packed, but unfortunately the second half of Season 1 isn't very good and doesn't deliver on the opening hype. Plus, Season 2 was very forgettable and didn't progress the story enough. If you're interested in sci-fi anime, I'd recommend Psychopaths, Gaunts, Cyber City Oedo, or Ergo Proxy instead. However, Terraform Mars is still a decent series with some cool action and kills. Dumb bitch. Now that you made it this far, can you handle my top 5 goriest anime? You think I'm some kind of pussy, huh? At number 5, it's a personal favorite of mine, the science fiction thriller Gaunts. If you want action, brutal violent deaths, titties, You've been looking at her and getting stiffies, huh? Yeah. And lots of heads exploding, this is the anime for you. Don't you fuck with us, you little shit wad! <laughs> I love the story in Gaunts too. It draws you in from the start and is extremely unpredictable because anyone can die, even main characters. But the story is hard to explain. What makes us the best melons? Ganto! Sorry, Veggie! You see, in Tokyo, people who die find themselves resurrected in a room with other dead people from all over the city. What's even stranger is there's a naked old man in a black metal ball. Then the dead people are given science fiction weapons and instructed to go out into the city at night and hunt down a dangerous alien for points. This is fucking crazy! I won't spoil what happens because I want you to enjoy this amazing series and find out for yourself, but I can tell you that several of the episodes are extremely brutal and exciting, and the survivors grow from their experiences. You have everything here, even some funny scenes. Teacher! Yes. Corona's got a hard on. <laughs> Man, you're such a horn dog! He's <laughs> making it with a girl the only thing you think about? Shut your hole, you fucking cow! It's true! You just wish I did! No! The manga is also really good. I've reread the entire thing multiple times. It goes by really fast, and I highly recommend it. If these panels don't make you want to read it, nothing will. Is that Hitler? At number 4, Elfin Lead. Or is it Lied? Lied? Whatever, one of you can yell at me in the YouTube comments about how it's pronounced. Now, throughout the 2000s, this was the violent anime everybody would talk about. It was really popular on message boards and torrents, and it still stands today as one of the most violent series out there. I'll take this bitch! Watch out! <laughs> Honey, where's the bad person now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tons of people, even little kids and puppies get decapitated, beaten to death, sliced up, or they just fucking explode. In the story, a girl with invisible powers named Lucy escapes from a facility, then loses her memory, and lives with a teenage brother and sister. Lucy's been traumatized in the past, so she jumps between a playful personality and a serious one. I'm not scared of you! It doesn't hurt at all! 
The facility hunts down Lucy throughout the story. Elfin lead will wrap up nicely by the end with a lot of action and good emotional scenes, so it's definitely worth watching once. Just make sure you watch this in private. This isn't a hentai, but the characters are naked a lot. So don't watch this in public unless you want people to think you're some lollycon pervert. What are you doing? Making a mistake. Making a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> At number three, Blood Sea. Holy shit, the conclusion of this anime is so fucking gruesome. But unfortunately, unedited video of Blood Sea is blocked on YouTube. However, that's not going to stop me from showing you this amazing anime and telling you all about it. These uncensored screenshots will give you an idea of how gory it gets. This is definitely one of the most brutal moments in anime history. You need to see this series for yourself. Blood Sea is about a katana-wielding high school girl named Saya who defends her town from monsters in secret. So fans of Akame Ga Kill, Claymore, and all the other Sword Girl animes should enjoy this one. There's also typical happy slice of life moments mixed in at the start, so it may seem like Blood Sea is going to be another cliched anime about a teenage girl who fights monsters at night and goes to high school during the day. Anime cliche number 67. But suddenly, halfway through, the action becomes extremely gory when the series switches things up and the monsters start attacking people in broad daylight. When this happens, the anime starts to become really interesting. You learn more of the backstory and Saya's friends start to become endangered and more involved with the plot. This makes the series definitely worth watching. The monsters are also really cool with unique ideas like this one that's a fucking train. It's the best of the Blood series and definitely one of the goriest I've seen, especially near the end. For number two, it's Corpse Party. This anime is one of the craziest I've ever seen. Don't let the super cute moe intro fool you. This has some of the most brutal gore I've seen anywhere. And the animation quality and detail is really high. No one really talks about this one either, but I liked it. It starts off with a group of high schoolers performing a ritual to... <sighs> stay friends forever. <coughs> but then suddenly there's an earthquake and they find themselves separated and teleported to an old schoolhouse haunted by little ghost kids with scissors. <laughs> High school students are hunted down and brutalized in some fucked up ways. <laughs> the students have to figure out the mystery behind the ghosts in order to save their friends and return home. This plays out like a really good horror movie or video game, and there's lots of disturbing imagery and sounds meant to frighten you and the characters. So if you're looking for some short, gory, survival horror, this is perfect. It gets good really fast, and it's only four quick episodes, and it has a really good ending. This anime also has the deadliest children I've ever seen. I mean, fuck. They even have, like, psychic force field powers. How are we?
we supposed to fight Nazi vampires? It's bullshit! Now, if that doesn't catch your interest, nothing will. And oh fuck, this anime is a real treat. Helsing Ultimate is one of the best looking anime ever made. The animation is loaded with delicious dark colors, contrasted with bright glowing colors, plus disturbing horror visuals. It's a feast for your eyes. And on top of that, you have high quality super violent action of all kinds. We got guns. We got people eaten alive. We got vampires eating babies. We got it all. Now, I'm sure that's got you all really excited. Aw, look at that boner! <laughs> but what's Helsing even about? Nazi vampires! Well, that is part of it. You see, in England, there's an organization named Helsing that stops vampire and zombie threats. And in this world, people become zombies if a vampire takes their blood. Helsing's number one weapon is a vampire on our side named Alucard. He's a very old vampire with unusual powers that amaze you as the series goes on. I cannot be killed by dogs. It takes a man in order to kill a monster. <sighs> Alucard is powerful, but he is not invincible, so the action is not boring at all. He's a beloved character in the anime fandom with loyalty for Helsing and a badass attitude when it comes to fighting. Come on! Get up! Attack me! You've only suffered the loss of your legs! Summon up your familiars! Transform your body! Heal your severed legs and stand! The evening is still so young. Come on! Hurry! 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 Pull yourself together! The fun has just begun! Come on! Hurry! All the characters are over the top and memorable. Eventually, more vampires join in, as do more organizations with their own agendas. Some organizations are good, and some are bad. Your organization's terrible. It all leads up to a massive battle between Helsing and the Nazis, leaving thousands of people dead and many superpowers taking center stage. You see all the carnage unfold in vivid detail. Helsing Ultimate doesn't have the deepest story, but there are some fun twists and several of the characters have to confront their past, making you care more about them. The series has a satisfying conclusion and replay value. In fact, Episode 2 is one of my favorite episodes of any anime. Both the dub and sub are high quality too, so you can enjoy it either way. Be sure to check out Hellsing Ultimate, it's a superb action and vampire series. Hey Benton, don't crap your pants if you see a vampire out there. Get lost. You wouldn't recognize a goddamn vampire if one jumped up and bit you on the end of your fucking dick. So just get off my back. Now, do you still need some gory anime after that top 10? Your fantasies can't ever be quenched, can they? Well then I recommend you watch these series from the honorable mentions I listed at the start of the video. If you enjoy Naruto and Ninja Scroll, then definitely watch Basilisk. It has an amazing story, plus really interesting ninja battles and abilities. 
If you liked Berserk The Golden Age, try Vinland Saga for more mercenary and war stories. On the other hand, if you enjoyed the fantasy elements of Berserk, I bet you'll love Goblin Slayer. Think of it as an RPG and MMO world with many brutal and epic moments. When you're looking for something action-packed in modern times, watch Black Lagoon. Ooh, knife to the dick. Fans of ecchi anime should see High School of the Dead. It's zombie survival horror with a lot of fan service mixed in. And for my last recommendation, if you enjoy shonen style anime like One Piece and Bleach as I do, then Demon Slayer is perfect for you. It's considered the best anime of 2019 by some people. I would agree as it has some really good fights and really cool scenes that made it worth watching, so check this one out and don't miss it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if I missed any anime, you can stream at me in the comments like you always do. I'm sorry you feel that way. I also have a Twitter account. Follow me there for updates. In the future, I do want to ask my followers questions about upcoming videos and for anime recommendations, so I hope to see you there. Don't be rude.